SGC here, and we're back with another movie review. Black Hole Thin Ice, a 2014 Chinese thriller film written and directed by Dao Yin Nan. The film won the Golden Bear Award at the 64th Berlin International Film Festival. So Golden Bear Award pretty much is the highest, like the best film for that festival. And also the lead, Lao Fang, Liao Fan, also won the Silver Bear, which is the award for best actor. So, what, what? I haven't seen anything else by Dao, but I would totally check him out if I get the chance. So the cast, pretty much, it's Lao Fang, Guai Lin Mei, and Wang Xiu Bing. So what's this movie about? So the story takes place both in Northern China in 1999 and 2004. Uh, our main character, Zhang, uh, is a cop who is investigating this coal mine incident back in 99, where pieces of body is showing up in different coal mines and he's hunting down the killer and somehow he finds the this witness the wife of the deceased and and something happens and he becomes an ex-cop so it's time jump of five years and he bumps into an old cop buddy that was working on the case together and the current case is that a killer is loose again and somehow the wife of the deceased back in 99 is connected to everything. So now Zhang, uh, who is totally determined to redeem himself and totally wants to solve the case, and he helps out and he, he befriends the victim's wife. And that's pretty much the story. So what I like about this film? Well, first off, the tone of this film is interesting, where I did not expect a lot of brutal things happening. I would say this movie was not brutal in the sense like old boy hammer in the face brutal, but just unexpectedly wow. Did that really happen? And am I dreaming that scene happened? So that was intense and and just the intrigue and the and like who's the real killer, what's gonna happen now, uh, the tension is there, and I give props for it because it, it did win a golden bear for best film. And and I could see why it won, cause cause the the way that it's filmed, it was just just the tension was just like this is dangerous and this is really happening and it happens in the sense where whoa whoa man it, it, it happened it happened and I really like the character progression throughout the film where Zhang's character is going super into the deep end into the solving this case and he's committed but it's just like where is the killer what's gonna happen and yeah I, I really enjoyed the whole course of the film sure there were slow parts and it, it sometimes felt like where, where is this going but it was good i mean as a detective thriller film it it didn't collapse on itself in the end i enjoyed the ending though the thing that i would not like about this film was the epilogue where it just felt disconnected and just like where is it going like i thought the film ended sort of thing but i mean sure give it more screen time for really tying off some unnecessarily loose ends here and there. But all in all, the character progression of both Lao Fan and Guai Lin Mei was just wow. Like, I, I enjoyed it in the sense of what it was. I don't know any of the actors here, so I can't say anything about their acting in the sense of previous, but I enjoyed the fact that they satisfied their role and executed it well. I mean, without really talking about the story, I can't really go into depth about how Liao Fan won an award for this film. But let's just say he he was in the deep end, and he and he really was like, did did that really happen? Like I think that's like the major part about this film that a lot of the scenes were like, wow, it 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 went there, it it. it this is dangerous. And I really like that factor, as in this movie is dangerous. As in guns do kill and blades will kill you and you don't mess around. Like I'm sick and tired of all these like films where you can shoot machine guns everywhere and no one ever dies. I mean, they're getting better. People are getting clipped, but they don't die. But yeah, I really like the danger factor and the, the, the suspense that this builds and the way that Dow shot it. It was just like suspenseful. Also, if you have seen my recent China, Hong Kong collab films, they weren't 
done well. That's like one of the major things that why I went to watch this film because this is a China film. Like it's not a Chinese, it's not a China Hong Kong collaboration, but a strictly China film, and I really enjoy that. As in, it didn't have that campiness of fulfilling certain requirements. Because I swear, when I watched this, I didn't feel like that it was a China film, despite the fact it was all in Chinese. But, like, it wasn't the campiness of, oh, oh, I can't break this rule, I can't break that rule, or I gotta fulfill this requirement before it gets released in China. Because that's what I feel when I watch Hong Kong films that try to, like, satisfy this required list of things that they can or cannot do for it to be released in China. And those movies suffer, but here it doesn't. It be, if you took out the Chinese and put in English, and I don't know if you can change the actors, but but what I'm saying is that this does not feel like your typical China film, and I really enjoy that, despite the fact that there are Chinese people and they do what China people do, you know, spinning on the ground sort of thing. But beyond that, I really enjoy that. So yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I understand why it won an award. It's a great thing that this won an award. Now I can watch Dao's other film and maybe hope for something similar. But yeah, I mean, this movie was also interesting. If you didn't know, there's a tidbit in Wikipedia that talks about how the Chinese name and the English name actually have two different meanings for the movie. If you didn't notice, but it, um, in Hong Kong, the Chinese name actually ruins the story for viewers. Like, if you watch a movie called Her, they won't call it Her in Chinese, but actually have a longer name and it really helps you. Oh, this is what the movie is about. There's no intrigue. I, I guess Hong Kong people don't really like to guess and just be surprised because they actually want to know what I'm going into. But I really enjoyed uh, Black Hole Thin Ice and the fact that uh, Black Hole and Thin Ice has something to do with the actual plot and the Chinese name itself also have to do with something with the plot. So that was an interesting setup that the director did. Yeah, I enjoyed this, Black Hole Thin Ice, and it was interesting. I haven't seen like a detective movie in a while, so it was fun to watch, but it was gritty and it was, like I said, dangerous. And that's pretty much it for this movie review for Black Hole Thin Ice. If you watched it, leave me a comment below and tell me how you thought about it. If you didn't watch it, you can also leave me a comment and say why you wouldn't watch it or want to watch it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this Black Hole Fan Eyes movie review. See ya.